Tashka guys, Tash coming at you on uh, Wednesday evening after late afternoon. And I thought I'd get out in the uh, garage and do a an hour of power or power hour, whatever you want to call it. And uh, actually watching VW Darren's uh, video kind of got me uh, in the mood to do this. Uh, Darren's working on that thing. And he was mentioning today about, uh, I think it was his clutch uh, pull hook uh, sort of getting sort of worn through a little bit and I knew I was having an issue with my clutch holes on my uh, clutch pedal uh, starting to oval out a bit so I knew that this had to be fixed so I do have a parts car so I thought I would uh, go and check out the parts car part and it's also ovaling out so what I was going to do is exchange the pedals but of course I can't do that now so now I'm going to have to get into repair mode so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble this a little bit further and uh, check the bushings inside. But I'm also going to try to weld this up a little bit uh, and uh, make that round. Actually, the brake pedal is actually in good shape. It should, you know, it's slightly old, just barely, but uh, that's got a lot of miles left in it. So I'm going to leave that one alone. But definitely the uh, the clutch pedal needs some work. So that's the, uh, the plan is to uh, disassemble, clean it a bit more. This one's been sandblasted. Obviously, this one hasn't been. So I'm uh, going to clean it up, maybe a little wire brush, uh, little wire brush work on it, and maybe we'll do a quick uh, prime and paint and get this ready to go back in the car. So that's the plan uh, for this afternoon, and uh, maybe I'll take some videos uh, along the way once I get it disassembled. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys, I've uh, decided to try to uh, do a small video on actually disassembling the pedal box. Uh, might be a benefit to somebody along the way who's working on a TR2, TR3, 3A, or 3B. Um, it's a fairly simple, easy, easy process, but uh, I'll just put it on video to document it while I'm going along. I have to take it apart anyway, so I may as well video it. So just give me a second. I'll move around to the other side of the table, and uh, we'll start to uh, see if I can get this into frame. All right. Maybe I'll turn uh, ACDC down a little bit. All right, so I'm back. So let's see if I can get this in frame. Hopefully I'll be able to. So all I need for tools are uh, some sort of punch. I'm probably gonna use this as a punch. Hopefully that'll work. I might have to get something smaller, just a small hammer. Um, and I'm gonna use an impact gun to, uh, to get the two, uh, two bolts off. So I'm just gonna remove those. washer, set them aside, okay the next thing you need to do on this uh, in order to get there's a there's a couple of a set of bushings inside and uh, an actual pin that runs through the bushing so you got to get these caps off so I find it easier if they're glued on a little bit just to sort of Give them a tap with a hammer to move them off. And you can see them come off. So this is the cap that holds the, uh, the two pieces together. Again, the other side. The two caps are off. So it looks something like that. Obviously, this goes through here. Hold the pin in place. So I'll just move those off the side. You can see how those come off. And basically, you can take a punch, and this is a threaded on either side. You can take a punch and drive this out. Sometimes it can be pretty difficult. It's, uh, it's really, really in there. So if I can do this. Pin. So you need a little bit of work on uh, a little bit of rust on the sides, but it's not too bad. Actually, here's the the bearing surfaces are here, which are you know, not too bad. Maybe we'll take a little emery cloth and and shine this up, and obviously regrease it when we put it back together. But, uh, so that's that. And to get the two pedals out, it's really just a matter of pulling up and out of the slot. 
again, up and out. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a jiggle to get them out. And then the two pedals are detached. There's the cover plate. And clean that up. So the two pedals are detached and inside you can see there's actually bushings. Um, there's actually, uh, I think they're copper bushings, either copper or brass, I think they're brass uh, here on the, uh, in, on both sides. And if they're in bad shape, you can press those out and add new bushings. It actually is going to look too bad. So we'll just clean those up a little bit and we're going to add a little bit of grease in there when we re reassemble. So again, they don't look too bad. So the whole object of taking this apart, of course, is to clean it up. We're going to re-grease, reassemble, but we also want to fix that uh, hollowed out uh, point where the clevis pin goes through to hook up to the, uh, to the brake and clutch uh, master cylinder uh, on the inside of the uh, engine bay. So that's the uh, object of today is to actually, uh, to actually weld this up. Then we're going to take a 5 16th drill bit and we're going to actually drill back through and make this round. So we're going to fill and then drill. All right, that's it. So I'll uh, take a video when I have these cleaned up a little bit and maybe we'll take a video when we go to reassemble them. All right, that's it for now.
Hey guys, Tosh coming at you. It's uh, Thursday night. Yeah, it's probably about quarter to eight or so. Uh, obviously, didn't get to finish this project last night. Um, as you can see, maybe from the pictures, um, I did manage to get everything painted last night, which was a, a challenge in itself. They look okay. Um, I think it was about 10 degrees Celsius in the garage last night, so um, obviously it's pretty hard painting when it's that cold. So I got a few runs and. It took forever to dry. I actually moved it into the house last night um, to finish drying. So hopefully it's uh, going to be hard enough for me to uh, to reassemble this uh, tonight. So that's what the plan is. Um, I don't know how well it's going to go. Obviously, I think the parts are going to have to be a little bit tighter fit now that I've got some paint um, in some areas where uh, I think there's normally some wear that happens along here on the inside of this uh, this bearing um, sort of shell. Um, it's probably been a pretty tight fit, so probably be a bit of a binding issue there. So I'm going to give it a go, uh, putting it back together. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll put together, uh, I'll do a dry fit, and then I'll go back, and then I'll, uh, I'll grease everything up with the white lithium grease that I have. Um, so maybe I'll turn you off for, for a minute. Uh, but anyway, here's my starting point. I'll put it back together, and then maybe we'll come back, and if it's not too difficult uh, for me to put it back together, uh, I'll tear it down again and I'll do a reassembly video for you. Okay? See you in a bit. Okay guys, so let's get back to it. Uh, I'm going to do uh, the final assembly now on the pedal box. Um, I did a dry fit quickly. It does go back together. So uh, anyway, we'll introduce some uh, white lithium or some lithium grease into the mix. And we'll see if we can get this back together again so here we go all right so the first thing to do is stick these pedals back in and excuse me if i fumble a little bit i broke my glasses tonight so i've got the contacts in which is not necessarily a good thing for uh up close you know, it's a bit of a fiddle to get these in the slots but uh i could try to do it without a, without a hammer Okay, there's one. Almost. Of course, the iTunes uh, packed up as well. Uh, the iPod packed up, so I've got the TV on in the background, so any of you Canadians out there probably uh, recognize the sound of uh, corner gas. Uh, Canadian comedy. Pretty exciting stuff, eh, guys? Sorry that took so long, guys, but uh, that's how it is sometimes. So I'm gonna throw some uh, some lithium grease in the uh, in the bearings on the inside.
And here's that uh, bearing piece that I uh, sort of cleaned up. I did some uh, some emery paper on. I'm just going to smear that with a bit of grease as well. So it came up not too bad. It's not too pitted, so that's a good thing. So that slides in. Just sort of align those a bit. I'm just going to Sometimes you need to lift it up just to align that properly. Pin goes in. Wipe off some of the excess grease. All right, then the keeper plates go in. Screws, new lock washers go in. And on the other side. Okay guys, it's about 8.30 and uh, I think I'm done. I've put the springs on and I've got the uh, new pedal pads. I uh, had ordered some pedal pads for it. So the new uh, new standard uh, pedal pads are on it. I think these are on all the TR series cars with the T on them. Uh, so that looks good. Um, that one piece that I uh, remember what I specifically set out to do was to uh, work on that ovaled out clutch uh, top with a clutch piece that fits into the clevis and uh, obviously you can see that's fixed now. I drilled a new hole for it so it looks pretty good. Matches up with the uh, with the brake, uh, brake hole. Looks pretty good. So uh, overall I'm pretty happy with it. I mean it's uh, the paint's like I said a little rough because it was so cold in the garage but it looks a lot better than it did so anyway we'll uh, maybe even give that another quick uh, spray coat of paint or remove the rubber pads and remove the springs and we'll give her a quick overcoat uh, spray before I put it in the car in the spring so anyway that's it for another project and uh, I'll upload this and uh, on to the next one talk to you later have a good night one more thing guys uh, stopped at the um, store tonight and I picked up some uh, rod to fix that uh, door gap so That'll probably be the project for the weekend before I get too much further on the uh, the Bondo. So obviously I want to heat that panel. I don't want that Bondo to start bubbling. So I've stopped on the uh, on this and we got to fix that gap. So uh, so we'll see how we do. Uh, I've got two different sizes of the rod, so we'll see which one works best. Anyway, uh, just another quick update. Talk to you later.